My chess friends, it's been a very long time since I have played a perfect game with Alpha Zero. however today I am going to show you the perfect chess game of Alpha Zero and me where he sacrificed his queen brilliantly. Money and success don't change people, they merely amplify what is already there. I started the game with d4. In queen's pawn opening there are many openings as black can consider, we have knight f6 c4 e6, and we have the popular three knights variation of qgd, here black can play Rogogin defense or barmen defense with knight d7 followed by c4 or c6, there is an amazing gambit if you capture the c4 pawn, let me show you the variation, then push the e pawn to control the center and target to the pawn. Black can't defend his pawn at all, so your opponent may play bishop b4 which is the best move, then just capture the pawn remaining my name, don't be afraid of knight takes pawn, I already told you that there is a hidden gambit which most players doesn't know, after sacrificing one pawn on c3 play rook b1 to use this semi-open file, knight c6 then develop your rook position confidently, bishop have to run then play bishop a3 to prevent black to do castle, knight a7, knight g5. That's the key move of our gambit, black may think that the single chess piece in the kingside can't damage black, so after castle we will sacrifice the knight on h7, takes and use the rook which we put in b3 square long time ago to attack to the nonsense bishop, rook check king backs queen h5 to finishing the war, f5 is the only move, then we will move back our bishop on e2 to have control on this diagonal, this position contains plus 9 advantages for white. Rook f6 is the best move for black to sacrifice his queen on f8, congratulations you have learned a gambit. A room without books is like a body without a soul, back to the position, alpha 0 played knight b7, c3 and bishop b4 are the future moves, so bishop f4 to control this diagonal which is why we have bishop d6, I don't recommend you to play e3 because this stupid pawn structure isn't healthy for end game. Black's further choice is to be develop his pieces as soon as possible, so back to the position we have bishop g3 and bishop exchanges. It provides me the open rook file where my queen can target to the gate man on h7, bishop d3 will be a reasonable choice to consider after elimination these two Gothenchist twin brothers, take c4, d takes c4 move gives me the opportunity to occupy the center, knight b6 and some stupid players may think of playing d5, but the knight will occupy the center by jumping in the d5 square showing middle finger at them, so I sacrificed the bishop on c4. Be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind, queen a4 castle and I played long castle, because short castle wasn't good to play, the rook will be passive on there, it's better to keep the rook on this highway track, couple of moves later, I played e5. I build a strategy to destroy black position, let me show you the variation by moving the rook twice otherwise you can't understand because your Brian can think up to 1 or 3 4 moves only, knight g5 to target to the pawn, everyone is targeting to the pawn directly or indirectly, my plan is to play knight takes h7, takes then sacrifice the rook on h7, knight takes rook knight f6 double check, where the king should go. King h8 can't possible because of rook h1 checkmate, so after king h6 rook h1 check king here f4 checkmate, game will be over, so in this position, if you play h6, then we will sacrifice the knight on f6, pawn takes knight, knight e4, knight takes f6 as coming and how will you protect the king. f takes e5 doesn't matter because after take, the file will be open, queen ups knight f6 check, and it will be a checkmate in two moves. You know you're in love when you can't fall asleep, because reality is finally better than your dreams, so back to the position, we have b5 to put the bishop in a good square, knight e4 bishop b7 to targeting to these two knights, king b1a5 knight c5, this is not the right time to do bishop knight exchange because this stone pawn structure may create problems for black's kingside, since the bishop is the only piece to protect his queenside so he should save the bishop. Rook h5 and now I am threatening to double up my rooks to attack on this gateman heavily, so after doing pieces exchanges we have queen d5 f4 rook d8, now double upping the rooks is not the best anymore because he can protect his kingside nicely, two rooks and queens cannot damage this black position unless you have an additional minor piece knight or bishop, so rook h1 queen backs and after couple of moves later, we have f3. If you want to know what a man's like, 
take a good look at how he treats his inferiors, not his equals, so I played f5 to break the structure, if you capture the pawn, let me show you the variation, the gh files will be open, queen b6 rook g1, this black position is going to die in my hand, c6, then we will sacrifice the rook on g7, king takes g7 f6 check, king backs queen h6, this is coming so after knight e6 we will play the final move rook h1, checkmate will be unstoppable. A friend is someone who knows all about you and still loves you, so back to the position, alpha 0 is stockfish subscriber so he sacrificed his queen on c5, d takes c5 and we have rook exchanges, king ups rook a1, black position is totally secured and saved, I have no pass pawn to threat some threats, few moves later, we have some queen and rook dances, h5 and if you capture the pawn, then after takes queen h3, white's position will be in a totality terrible condition. The aggressive knight will create much problems for the white king being down a queen, you may capture the pawn then after knight here queen b1 to protect the pawn, a2 will come, 200 elo rated players will save the queen and checkmate his own king, so back to the position, we have f6. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.